The autotune is one of the best functions for the INAV fixed wing pilots. After all, it tunes everything and as the result your airplane flies amazingly. Well, yes, but not really. Today let's do the long overdue video about what is, what isn't and how to use the INAV autotune function. Long story short, the INAV autotune is the function that tunes your fixed wing airplane so you do not have to. You do not have to play with rates, PID gains, etc, etc, etc. You just make your airplane fly, enable the autotune and as the result INAV does the magic. The autotune is not tuning everything, it only tunes to the most important factors. Rates and feed forward gains. Unlike four or five years ago, it's no longer tuning P and I gains, but it's actually better. Airplanes are naturally stable, you do not really have to tune the stabilization on them. They have enough of the built-in stabilization that the standard constant gains on the P and I of the PID controller are fully enough to keep your airplane stable in the air. It's much more important to have the correct rates, the information how fast your airplane can rotate on the roll and pitch and the fit forward gains that allow you to reach the desired rate than to tune the stabilization. So yes, it's only tuning rates and fit forward, but honestly you do not really need anything else. The question remains on how to correctly use the INAV autotune function. First of all, your airplane has to be operational. Second of all, you should do the autotune with somewhere around mid of the throttle and third of all, most probably the most important part, you have to do the autotune in the acro mode. Yes, I know in theory you can also do the autotune with the angle mode enabled, but uh -uh, this is not the correct way. The correct way is to use the acro mode. And no, it will not tune anything when you fly manual. So, the correct procedure is... 1. Configure the autotune mode in the INAV configurator on one of the switches. Step 2. Launch your airplane, climb to the safe altitude, set the throttle to roughly 50% and then enable the autotune flight mode. Starting from this moment, INAV will analyze the input, the movement of your stick with the output, how fast the airplane is rotating. And based on this information, it will try to determine how fast it can rotate on roll and pitch and how much of the fit forward gains it should set to make that happen. So it's up to you to provide enough of the input data for the INAV engine. How to do it? Well, just by flying. Fly the airplane while remembering that from time to time you will have to move the stick to the full deflection. If we want INAV engine to know how fast the airplane can rotate and what it has to do to rotate, we have to give it enough of the inputs. As you go, the airplane will become more and more responsive and will more and more eagerly and precisely track the movement of the roll and pitch stick. If you are happy with the tune and you do not really feel that anything changes as you continue flying, that means that INAV has D correct gains and rates and it's time to land and save it. First you have to disable the autotune flight mode, then you have to land this arm and what's extremely important you have to manually save settings. Autotune is not saving anything automatically, you have to do it. Either by connecting to INAV configurator and hitting save on any of the pages or by using stick command or if you have the OSD enabled by using OSD CMS and issuing the save and reboot command. Of course, before you do that, you can even check if the new rates and fit forward rates actually make sense. Most probably they will make sense and the only thing that you have to do is to issue a save command. Do remember that if you power cycle the flight controller before saving the new rates and gains, you will lose your tune. You 
you can land, you can disarm, but you cannot power cycle because power cycling restores the setting to what you have in the EPROM memory. And if you have not saved, well, there is nothing new in the EPROM memory at all. So take off, acro, auto tune, fly, disable auto tune, land, disarm, save. Those are the seven steps required to the good autotune procedure. Finally, some additional thoughts. It's safer and better to do the autotune with the relatively calm weather, because the high wind and the bumpy air might just interfere with the rate and fit forward computation. And as the result, the values that came out from the autotune might just not be right. And second of all, nothing really prohibits you to improve and manually change the tune after the autotune is completed. For example, me, I'm never changing the computed rates, never changing the computed fit forward, but I like to lower the P gains and increase the I gains slightly, because I just think that it's better for the airplanes I use. Of course, you do not have to do it. And in majority of the cases, just trusting the autotune is most probably the best way for the majority of INAV pilots. If you like what you've seen, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. And of course, write in the comments on what you think about the INAV and the INAV autotune function in general. I would love to know your thoughts if we are going in the right direction or not really. Here's the next video you should watch. In the meantime, this was the FPV University. I'm Paweł Spychalski. Thank you very much for watching and like always, happy flying!